He's so lucky. My Goliath glitched out. I told it to go down. It just walked back and forth on the high ground or I would have won that game. God, he's terrible. Get out there! As bad as you think this guy is, RT, the fact is that he beat you, so there is something you could learn from him. You are too dumb. I can't. I can't let it happen. Can't let it happen. Don't type. They turn around! RT, the Marines did not turn around by themselves. Yes, they did, actually, you, you asshole. No, actually, go so fuck yourself. You don't your play fault. the game, go fuck you yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you, you dumb bitch. Anyway, you always blame games not going your way on outside variables, but really it's your fault. Dude, you're Let's so annoying. You're so annoying. Go fuck yourself, honestly. Go fuck yourself, you annoying bitch. That's what you do is you sit here and be annoying as hard as you fucking can. Go fuck yourself, you dumb fucking bitch. Just a complete on minus 33 from that B rank fucking pile of shit. That fucking pile of shit. Just 100% all in. If he gets scouted, the game ends. The game ends. But he's like, I don't know. I was the right spawn. Uh, you went to the wrong location. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm better than you. It's like, you will literally always be B rank for your entire life. Congratulations on your 33 points. The one time you will ever get it. Fucking trash. Just utter fucking trash. Dude, it's all percentages. How flawed is Brood War if scouting in the wrong spot gives someone the win? When you're doing something that fucking risky, if I scout you right away, you're fucked, right? So you're just taking this huge risk. You're taking this huge risk. You're like, well, I mean, if they scout me, I'm pretty fucked. But if they don't, I have a pretty big edge. It's just a huge risk on his side. Now, I happen to choose that game to scout on 15 supply, which against everything else is really good. So it was a two-pronged luck. One, I chose to scout on 15 instead of 13. And two, he happened to choose to do that and get scouted super late. So it's like, okay, when it, the percentage of times that'll happen is like near zero, right? Both those things have to happen. It's near zero. 15 scout is a very good build. 15 scout makes your economy super, super fucking clean. But occasionally, just every now and then you lose to bullshit. Honestly, it's it's not that bad against Cheese, but it, when it comboed with what he was doing, where it's like a two-fact all-in following the proxy racks, just it's a 100% luck-based victory for him, and he doesn't even know that because he's not smart enough to know that. He just sits there and cheeses. He's like, wow, I'm getting better. It's like, well, you actually don't know what's going on. It's like when a, a Protoss player goes DT and gets in before the turret. He's like, wow, I'm really getting good. It's like, no, you're not. They just didn't have a turret. That has nothing to do with skill. I would beat Flash if I got a DT in and he didn't have a turret, right? That doesn't mean my Protoss can beat Flash. It's just 100% luck. That is so crazy. The SCU is here. I told it to go up there. And instead of going this way to the ramp, it went around like that. Shit like that boils my fucking blood. Because again, Terran's the only race that has to deal with shit like that. Hopefully this one has some cheese too. Probably will. Because no one wants to actually learn how to play this fucking game. So this is an incredibly late scout from him. And I'm scouting him as late. Oh, yes, of course. What else could it be? So command center first. Last scout, command center first. I like how hard it is to find a spot. That's that's cool. You see this? Yeah. Makes sense. Dude. This shit. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sick. Dude, you can't even come close to making this shit up. Terrible, terrible fucking newbie. So close to beating me. Everything in his favor. 
We're not doing political shit here. I don't give a fuck what it is. We're not doing any political shit here. You want to go do political shit? There's plenty of fucking streamers that want you there. Bad player. Bad player. Bad player. Time to go starports. I'm going to go battle cruisers. This is the right time to go battle cruisers. I'm honestly angry about how bad people are. What they try to get away with. They don't even care that it's a good game if you actually try to play it right. It's a game, Artosis. There's no right way and wrong way. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there fucking is. GG's. Disgust is my natural state. I was about to set up TVT again. Building placement. It's crazy how different all the different building placements are. They're all bad in the other matchups. That only happens to Darren. You're probably right, TT1. Especially considering Zerg buildings don't fucking matter at all. Can I start my gas late or something? I'm a little bit... I feel like I'm a little bit low on gas compared to where I should be. Hmm. Fucked something up slightly. Oh, come on, guys. I tell three turrets to make and one starts. Okay, I actually don't know if he's actually going to make me. This guy feels like he might be a little bit cheesy. I'm not sure. Only Terran. Only fucking Terran. Fucking flash! Love this map. Fucking clowns. I wonder if they feel like they're really good when they run lurkers up. Front facing baby chick, baby chick, front facing baby chick, front facing baby baby chick, front facing baby chick, front facing baby chick, chick log, chick log, front facing baby chick, front facing baby chick, chick log, chick log. Imagine that, guys. Just being a Zerg player, you're like, I'm almost going to kill you with mutas. Oh, you're not out in front perfectly? You're contained. You lose. That's literally like 90% of TVZ right now. A B rank Protoss player named Donut on a two player map. Beautiful follow up to the 2400 Zerg player. Beautiful fucking follow up. Same level of danger. Same exact fucking level of danger. Might die at any time. Both will never be in ASL. Could die at any time. Both will never improve beyond where they're at. Both only abuse. Neither are worthy of respect or love. Then who knows? Win, lose, can't tell the difference. <sighs> I've seen Flash lose games to A rank Protoss players before. There's two games. One, a guy made gateways in his base on a two-player map and he lost. And another one was a fighting spear game where they were vertical spawns. Flash was like bottom left and this Protoss was top left. And the Protoss player just rallied his goons up to the third base and Flash literally could not for the life of him take it. He lost like 50 armies going uphill against Reaver goon and lost the game to this a rank Protoss. It was so fucking funny. I wish I had saved those VODs. What? Sugar Dinters cheered. X300, Angola, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Benin, Botswana, Congo, Kinshasa, Central African Republic, Congo Brazzaville, Cote d'Ivoire, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Djibouti, Algeria, Egypt, Western Sahara, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Gabon, Ghana, Gambia, Guinea, Ecuador. I'm not going to get this in time somehow. Kenya, Comoros, Liberia, Kenya Lesotho, nuts? Libya, Morocco, Madagascar, Mali, Mauritania, Mauritius, Malawi. Oh, that just won't make that's cool. Yeah, it is actually. It is a bit better than Eclipse. Eclipse is uh, one of the big problems with Eclipse uh, was, well, first off here, you have multiple choices in where you take your third base, which is nice. 
Uh, but on Eclipse, like, uh, wait a second. Let me just make sure I get this up. Um, on Eclipse, it had three distinct paths, and they're like, it would, it, no matter how far behind Protoss gets, Protoss counterattacks are strong and Terran ones are not. Um, oh, yes. Okay, that's, that's normal. To just walk out to something no one ever does and find it immediately. Wow. Uh, anyways, that was completely fucking suspicious in every way. Holy shit. And he knew where I was, too. Anyways, on Eclipse, every game, will, if a Terran's winning, will just degenerate into counterattacks nonstop. And that's it just makes it that much worse for Terran, because you can't actually catch the Protoss army. You can never force the Protoss army in one position. They can just keep on running around you. Oh, we'll put one here. This would be kind of like a hedging turret. Donut, the B-rank Protoss, man. Fucking just as dangerous can be. No idea what he's doing. Makes gates in my face. Loses them. Blocks his ramp. Expands but never attacks. No idea what he's doing. Could be fucking carriers at this point. Front facing baby chicken. I want to point out Trinidad that Donut Tobago. is 1800 baby and has done nothing Trinidad well so Tobago. far this game. Front facing baby Literally, chick. this is only Trinidad an attack move Tobago. that we're watching. Front facing baby chick. Of course. It's the only way that could have gone. Mm-hmm. B rank. I told you guys. BBZ is the hardest matchup. I told you guys. Literally 1800. My Protoss is actually better than his. Still just die. Two proxy gates shut down. Still just die. No problem. Uh, that wasn't good. I thought that was going to end up being a lot better. Also, free. Yes, Lurker's back there. Okay. Absolute clown game. Absolute fucking clown game. Barco donator donated three dollars. Arty, why is putting a bunker in the mineral line not a valid strat? Oh my Seems God. like it would make the Muta harassment phase ineffective, giving you time to break the natural before lurkers. No, it wouldn't. It doesn't fit in the mineral line, and it's not. It's three hundred minerals, and it doesn't fit. It's also for supply. These fucking questions. Jesus. Oh, wow. Two-player map against Protoss only. Can't play a four-player map against Protoss. Can't do that. LOL. You know, this is an S-rank Protoss, not a B-rank Protoss. So, same exact level of uh, danger, by the way. Just want to make sure that that's understood. This is actually so crazy when they do this. It is so incredibly hard to kill these zealots. Look at this. See this? Three zealots. Like, you just don't beat it. Just, this is not an army that beats that. And I've made the marines without stop as well. Okay, he didn't send a fourth zealot. So I can finally get this fucking bunker up. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Not even fucking close. I can't take it on a fucking ramp or anything. Dude, I'm trying my best here, and it's just, it's not good enough to beat just fucking someone who rallies zealots at me. It's so crazy that this is the fucking game. It is so absolutely absurd. He doesn't shoot. Do you see that? He takes like 10 seconds to shoot. I can't even get my fucking Marine to shoot at the fucking Zella. It would have actually killed it and lived. 
But it didn't shoot it. Wait until the Zalt walked up to it! I didn't even touch it because I didn't want it to fucking do that! Yeah. ST4 and Kai Hanglo cheered. X300, Artie, it's okay that you don't wear the train conductor hat more often. Like, honestly, do they think they're good for doing this? This guy literally hasn't done anything well. Just apes the entire time because we're on a two-player map and he's in complete control of the entire game. It's so fun to play TVP on that map. It's so unbelievably fun to do. I love to do it. It's just, it's a good use of time. It's fair. Clearly it's fair. That's one of the most important things is that I feel like it's an even shot. I love how they get to decide every single thing about the game. And the only thing I can do is try to fight back against it. I'm really just so tired of this shit. Do you know how tiring it is? to play two-player maps against Protoss where they just walk a probe across the map, build buildings near you or not, up to them, steal your gas every game, then have way bigger armies the entire game, the entire time. It is, look, again, a Protoss, an unranked that won this time on this fucking map. Can't play them on any other map, though. Just the two-player map. Just the fucking two-player map. Don't skip. Not politics. Donated three dollars. Putin has a special. You are a dumb bitch. Tell me what part of this game I could dictate. Tell me one part. Tell me a choice that I was able to make that he did not force me to make. Donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. Artosis, you can't just enter a game and start badmouthing your opponents. Oh yes, I can. If they happen to outsmart you, like right now, then you may regret it. Oh yes. Just has a fucking hundred times my units, even though he just suicided in and only has two gateways. No problem. This map is so fucking terrible. It is insane. GG. It's making new accounts, playing two player maps, PVT. You're super fucking good. Wow. Minus 28. Super fucking good. It's disgusting. This ladder is just a fucking shithole. It is just a fucking shithole. Blizzard really needs to do something about it. If I ever get to speak to anyone at Blizzard ever again, we're going to have a fucking talk about this. What a fucking terrible shithole this ladder is. We've done that shit game, Brood War. Fuck that shit. Let's break it down, shall we? First off, your unit placement was just atrocious. I would pay money to watch you play Terran. And don't even get me I want you to macro. stream Terran like Ladder, and I will basics. pay you for it. How do you expect to win with such I want to see resources? it. You have to be fucking kidding me. Where's my hero? 
quarters. Oh, I don't have enough of that yet? Oh, fuck. How does he have that fucking tank so quick, too? Damn, dude. What the fuck? Why is everyone so good at this fucking game? Dude, that's so annoying, that fucking ability. That much slow plus splash is fucking crazy. Thought I was doing pretty good at the beginning. These flying things don't seem to be helping me too, too much. Reinforcement ready. Damn, these things are getting fucking beefy. <sighs> you fucking kidding me? Just everything stunned the whole time? That's fun. It's a good game mechanic. I'm glad. Glad. I don't want to be able to actually move the fucking heroes you're making me play with. Sick. Can't win a fucking game to save my life. You need some strikers with mine upgrade. Thanks, Ziggy. I don't even know what a fucking striker is, let alone how to get a mine upgrade, let alone stopping whatever unit you just said. Jesus Christ. RT, don't you know the fucking metagame of this matchup? Like, I don't even know what the fucking units are! I just found out that walking fucking Goliath can shoot a spell! Jesus Christ. It's 2023, RT, you're meant to... Study every facet of the game before touching it. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh... No, people are tryharding way harder on this game than in Stormgate, I feel like. <laughs> well, also, this game's a little bit more com complex than what Stormgate has shown so far. On Stormgate, it only took me a few games to... Like, it was kind of intuitive and there's not that much going on yet. So I felt like I was catching up a lot quicker in that game. This one is, like... There's all these units I don't fucking know. Oh, wow. I log back on, and it's a Protoss on the two-player map. Yay. Wow. It's so amazing. What's this? My fifth TVP on this map today? Is that is that it? The, uh, like, I like Zero Space so far. It's fun. I'm enjoying it, even though I'm getting fucking destroyed every game. Hero RTS is, I generally, I generally am not a fan of heroes. These don't feel super overpowered, but, like, some of this stun AoE fucking slowdown shit is, like, I get it, and there's skill, but there's something about that type of thing that I don't find particularly fun. I don't like my shit getting slowed down, you know? It's, I don't know if people agree with me on that, but like it's, I find it, I find it a bit annoying. Like when I'm trying to fight and then like everything's slow down and taking AOE, I'm like, well, that's not. <laughs> it's like, can we just play a game where our units do what they're supposed to do? Yeah, stun spam. It's, you know, I don't know. Yeah, probe sitting on the ramp because he's a fucking B rank. Oh my God, dude, nothing will make. This is so fucking laggy. Dude, this fucking lag is the worst $3 ever. And 30 Mario to go down on. Which would it be? Paper Mario would be the least disgusting, but you would get paper cuts on your lip. Crab, Look at the units crab, just knock up. I click crab, them down here and crab, they just turn around crab, and walk up there. Crab, crab, really fun. Crab, 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 worst crab, lagger crab, I've ever crab, seen. Crab, <laughs> crab, crab, crab. Am I doing good tonight? Define good. If by good you mean in any way good, no. If by good you mean exactly the same as always, yes. So as long as it doesn't lag like that Chinese guy. That was that was insane, that lag. Insane. 
Just don't even give me that game. I think if it goes to turn rate eight, it should just fucking kick you both out of the game and say this is not happening, you know? Okay. So this guy is literally in my base before I start my anything. I don't even know what this is supposed to mean. This doesn't even make sense. This is not even a thing. So, like, I don't know. Is this hacking? Like, what? what is this? Like, he scouted like it's a fucking PVT. Like, your drone doesn't even do anything. It's a higher percentage of his economy than it is of mine for this to be happening. Because I just get more SCVs and he gets drones. It doesn't, like... It literally does not make sense at all. We might see something really silly, like if shit's coming to mind, like mineral hacking and shit. I honestly don't know what to say about that. Like, I, that, none of that makes sense, and it showed that he was S-rank. He literally sent one of his first drones to my base on a four-player map. It's not even a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy was a hacker. No, because it just, it doesn't make sense to send the fifth drone, but then I don't, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't send your fifth drone. Dude, it's so funny. It's so funny. There's like probably five, maybe less than that. Maybe five guys that really hate me that hang Steve out on Reddit all day again, long. Donated $3. I think it's just a few guys with multiple accounts, honestly. By the way, guys, people have been asking me about this for a while. There is our Artosis. I need mods for it to make it look pretty and nice. So if you want to be a mod on our Artosis, let me know. All right. I think we're going to wrap up, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be back on Sunday, and we'll see you then.